All right, so today is a big day in the world of Legends of Runeterra spoiler season, uh, and that's because we get Zillion. I know this is someone that a lot of people have been very, very excited for. Uh, it was a champion a lot of people were expecting to get in the very first Shurima set because we saw all the predict stuff. We had Zillion on some card art, and everyone was like, no, saucy mailman. I know for a fact Zillion is going to be here, and then he wasn't. Um, but as a master of time, he shows up when it's convenient for him. And today we get Zillion. Uh, I feel like this is one that has been very, very anticipated for a long time. And he's going to hopefully bring a lot of support and utility to Sharima as a whole. And he's very sweet and uh, I'm very excited to talk about him. So uh, let's get into it. I'll share my thoughts, uh, go over all the cards that are revealed today, uh, and it'll be great. And I also just realized that I'm wearing a Twitch shirt for a, a YouTube video, which I'm not sure. Is that is that illegal? Hey, editor, maybe maybe we need to censor this out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's get into the cards. All right, so today we have Zillion, and Zillion is very cool. He is a two-mana, one-four Sharima champion. Uh, he's got a small front, but he's got a, a thick back. And I think that's all of the beard adding protection to him, giving him more health. Uh, how he works, Zillion has play, create four time bombs in your deck, and then predict. And his level up is I've seen you destroy two allied time bombs. And what are time bombs, you ask? Well, let me show you. So time bombs are pretty sweet. They are a two mana landmark. When I'm summoned, you draw one and advance other allied time bombs one round, which is sweet. And it's got countdown one, deal one to enemies and the enemy nexus. So it's kind of like a mini blighted ravine, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it also draws it, it replaces itself. So it's like a free card. Um, and it's, it's just really cool. I, I, I love this. This is something that I really, really, really adore. It's kind of got, it's not the same, but it's kind of got the, uh, um, like bomb warrior feel from hearthstone if you ever played that um, but it's like the exact opposite you're putting these in your deck uh, it, it's very very interesting there's a lot to this uh, and a lot to talk about it so what's interesting oh and we'll talk about his leveled side i guess because we're here so when you level up after he uh i've seen you destroy two out of time bombs you get super sweet artwork uh there's a trailer on the runeterra uh youtube that shows it in action and his level up uh is very very cool so check it out uh, but anyways, Zillion uh, is a 2-5 uh, when he's leveled up. Round start, create a fleeting copy of each non-fleeting card I saw you play last round. That is so cool. I love it. It is like insane amounts of value. Uh, there are so many cards being able to play multiples of is very good. And this is dope and excites me. Uh, and then he's got play, create four time bombs in your deck and then predict. So every time you play him, make him more time bombs. Uh, and it's really cool. But but let's talk about some things that make Zillion interesting. One, prediction is pretty strong. Uh, being able to control your draws is really important in a card game. Uh, Scry from Magic is really powerful. Uh, and Predict we've seen being very powerful. So getting the Predict support is good. So what's interesting is he's a cheap champion. So he's a two-mana champion that comes down early that puts these time bombs in your deck. Uh, the later the game goes, the easier it's going to be to predict the time bombs. So if you do play him later in the game, uh, your deck is going to be thinner. You'll have less cards in your deck. So they'll be when you add the time bombs, it's going to be easier for you to find them. So it's easier to level him up the later it goes. But if you have a lot of predict support, it's easier to find the time bombs if you play him early. So it definitely wants you to build around the champion. Um, you can honestly, I feel like this is one that you can just put in Shurima decks and the value that he generates is good on its own. But if you do build around him and make like a zillion deck and you have all the predict support, um, he'll be easier to level up. I think it's really cool. I like to see champions that are good on their own that don't need support, but if you put the support in, work really well. And I don't mean support the mechanic. No one cares about that mechanic. Um, so he's really, really cool. I like Zillion. He's one I'm very excited for, not just because he's got a really good beard. That does help. But the card itself is just super sweet. Um, I love the Time Bombs. I think it's a really cool mechanic. Uh, Blighted Ravine is one of my favorite landmarks, and this is like a baby Blighted Ravine. Um, and yeah, I dig it. I, I like it a lot. I think it's sweet. I'm excited. Uh, Zillion is awesome, and more Sharima champions that are cool is very important because Sharima as a whole is like not really a full region yet so i dig this uh zillion spell is also very very cool and super interesting and something i'm planning on playing a lot so it is chrono shift or zillion's chrono shift seven mana burst spell it's very important that it's burst uh you give an allied champion the next time i die this round 
fully heal me and grant me plus three plus three instead and then if it's the zillions you obviously make a zillion in your deck so it's important to know this that note that this is a burst speed spell so this gives me uh good old unyielding uh unyielding spirit vibes uh, but it's specifically just for champions uh, but it's very very cool the first thing i think of is using this on uh like nasus um you using this on thresh because why not be degenerate um but yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this it, you, being able to protect your champions essentially um it's super thematic and flavorful too because you think about it you're like rewinding time so they don't they didn't actually die um and they get plus three plus three which is awesome gives them a big body um, it's just an overall interesting utility spell. Maybe we can see this used on Fiora um, to see the resurgence of Fiora decks again because everyone misses those, I'm sure. I'm sure everyone misses Fiora, but it's just very cool. There's a lot of interesting things we can do with this. Uh, and this is a card that really gets my like deck brewing brain going. The, it's very, very cool, very powerful effect. And I also like that it's not just a, an allied unit, it's specifically a champion. Uh, I think that keeps it from being like degenerate. Uh, it's also seven mana, it's expensive for the effect. Um, but being able to keep uh, champions alive, especially champions that want to go into combat, that want to get in there, get frisky, um, it's a way to protect them and keep them safe. And it's burst. You're not going to get it denied. Uh, you're not going to get it right or negationed. It's awesome. It just happens. So I really, really like this spell. I'm very excited for it. Um, and I think it's sweet. And then we also got Scrying Sands. One mana, another burst spell. Uh, more predict support. So one mana burst predict, not too shabby. Um, and giving an enemy minus two attack this round could be very good as well. Um, this can screw up things like Renekton, Shivana, uh, things that care about damage, Fiora, um, Lucian, uh, anything with Quake Attack, this really ranches, um, especially against things like Lucian, because they're getting in there thinking they're safe. You take off their attack and then kill them in combat. Um, very powerful. Uh, so this can be a, a good combat trick. Sh uh, Sharima as a whole, I think, could have used could use some more uh, interesting combat tricks because a lot of their stuff is focus speed, like exhaust. So this being at burst speed, you get to use it in combat. It's pretty cool, and you can predict. So if you are trying to do more predict support, um, getting playing like Kahiri and whatnot because people love Kahiri for whatever reason. Um, there you go, more predict works with Zillion, and it's sweet. Uh, I dig the card. I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's good enough to be a, a slam, like, three of in every deck, but if you are trying to do predict decks, you definitely play it. Um, I could honestly see this taking the spot of, like, ancient preparations and lists, so we'll see. I think it's pretty cool. I dig it. I think it's cool. Just having an option for more um, combat tricks in Shurima is good, and I like it. But something I like even more, this card is very cool. Soothsayer. Two mana, one four. It's got the, the, the zillion body. Uh, when I'm summoned, grant allied champions and landmarks spell shield. Let's think about that for a minute. All you grant allied champions and landmarks spell shield for two mana on a body on a summon effect. So if you ancient hourglass this and it's summoned, it happens again. Um, this is the, everyone's been wanting landmark spell shield since we got all the landmarks in, from original Shurima launch. Uh, getting to protect your buried sun disc even playing like sun disc into this giving it spell shield is powerful um this card is very good <laughs> spell shield is very good it's a two drop and it's on a summon it's not even like a skill it's not a play effect it's just you grant them when it's summoned this is wrong um spell shield is good we all know spell shield is good and uh i don't even think much more needs to be said like this is awesome now we can grant all our howling abyss uh spell shield because everyone's playing howling abyss piltover university we're all sick of playing so many piltover universities and people are destroying them with all their mean rude attack spells so now we can protect the important landmarks um and it's sweet i think this is a really really good card this is probably going to be a three of in a lot of decks uh and i am very excited to see this a new effect of giving landmark spell shield is very strong it's very very good uh i can't say enough about how how much i like this card and i'm very excited for it um my like this this whole set with zillion with soothsayer with the uh zillion spell not that one with the chrono shift 
Um, there is a lot of cool deck building that gets my like creative juices flowing, uh, and I am very, very excited for this release. So there we have it. Zillion has been revealed. Now we can start brewing, getting uh, getting our excited decks going. Uh, I'm ready. I love it. Zillion is a champion I've been wanting for a while. Um, I fell in love with him from Teamfight Tactics. Uh, being able to bring your champions back from the dead or like keep them from dying is really cool. So I love the flavor of his champion spell. Uh, I think they did a great job with them. Like it, it, like being able to manipulate time with getting the, the cards you've played again, uh, predicting is a cool thing. I think they did a great job of capturing the flavor of Zillion. Uh, and I'm excited. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very excited. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for Zillion? Uh, do you think his, uh, do you think this like, set of cards is enough support for him do you think it'll be viable do you think he's good do you think he's too good i want to know your opinions let me know both in the comments and also on my twitch channel every monday through friday 11 a.m pacific time i'm there live playing stuff especially during release sit uh, next week i'm going to be doing streams like all day every day so come hang out that's all i got for you i love you very much thank you so much for watching and until next time you stay saucy Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell notification, and help me destroy the YouTube algorithm overlords by leaving a comment and liking this video. I appreciate you very much. You're amazing. And until next time, you stay saucy.